Welcome back to Diamonds in Arkansas's YouTube channel. Today we're behind a little old country church exactly two miles south of the entrance to the Crater of Diamond State Park. That's Highway 301 there that goes past the park and on down to this church and behind the church there's a real old quiet country cemetery here and the reason we're here today there's some Huddleston's buried here. Um, these two were buried in 1908 and 1921. So these, some of these headstones go back quite a few years. Now, John W. Huddleston was the man who discovered the first diamonds in Arkansas. And this is his headstone. He was born in 1860 and died in 1936. Shortly after he found those first two diamonds in August of 1906, he sold his farm for $36,000, which was a virtual fortune back then. But it didn't take him long to go through his money. In less than 30 years, he was a pauper. And when he died, he didn't even have enough money for a headstone. This uh, headstone marker was erected by local historians because he had a significant impact on this area. They've even embedded kind of like diamond jewels that's actually glass slag in this marker. Um, when my mother-in-law passed away in 2001, we asked for her to be buried in this cemetery and they said, well, we have an open spot next to John Huddleston. Would that be all right? And we said, yeah, that would be an honor. I think she would be pleased to be buried next to the famous diamond finder, John W. Huddleston. So they went to dig the grave and they probed first right here beside and found um, there were remains in the ground and it turned out this headstone marker was placed in the wrong place. John Huddleston is actually buried here and this rock is the only headstone he could afford when he was buried. Uh, it's just a plain old rock. But this actually marks his final resting place and so then my mother-in-law Ruby Wasson was buried here in 2001, right next to John Huddleston's grave. But uh, if you look around this cemetery too, there's another um, Huddleston headstone that's really old. This person was John Huddleston's daughter, uh, born in 1889, died in 1895. So just a six-year-old girl. That passed away but anyway there's some history here that's tied to the diamonds that were found less than two miles away